and welcome to Vibe Cafe. This is a show where we have interesting, spontaneous and sometimes controversial conversations as well as give you positive vibe, maximum entertainment. My name is Larry Nicodemus as always, my <laughs> co-host this year with me. I am Oge and of course it's always a pleasure to be here in front of your screen. Of course, today's show is super packed. Yeah. We're going to be talking about a very interesting topic. We have an amazing guest who's going to be coming on later on to share her knowledge with us on the show we also have the movie review some games to yeah. play as well and so much more you do not want to miss out on any of it we'll go on a quick break and we'll be right back don't go anywhere Welcome back to Vibe Cafe. If you're just joining us today, we're having an interesting conversation about nutrition, how it is important to consume healthy meal for our body. Today, we're having this discussion in the studio with Miss Lillian Chinonyerim Ibogo. She is a nutritionist, founder of Yogurt and Cold Cream. She is also a product review blogger. Welcome. Thank you so Welcome much. Welcome so much. <laughs> thank you very much. It's so nice to have you here with us. Ah, thank you. Okay. I appreciate this opportunity. Okay, it's no also nice to meet um, you beautiful ladies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to dive into the conversation. We're talking about nutrition and how important it is to take in healthy meal. So in your very own opinion, how is healthy meal important for our body? Okay. Let's start with what's nutrition. Okay. Nutrition is actually um, eating healthy. So as much as you want to eat food, the major is are you getting the right nutrients from that meal? You go out on the street every day, you see people make vegetables, probably green vegetables or the normal vegetables, the carrot, the cauliflowers the green pepper, and then you see some persons use hot water to uh, make them to be easy. They, they say, you hear them say, if I eat it, uh, if I use hot water, it will make me chew it easily. But then, by doing that, you've tampered with the nutrients on that vegetable. So at that point, what you're eating is no longer vegetable. You're eating mm. something that's already um, uh, how do I even put it? You're eating poison. Let me use that word because mm -hmm. at that point you've already tampered with the vegetable. You see, some persons they want to boil beans and then they go ahead to first of all power boil the beans mm -hmm. and then pour the water and then cook it again. At that point, you're already removing the nutrients the beans is meant to give you in your body. You see, some person want to make vegetable soup and then they first of all they chop the vegetable before washing it, which is supposed to be, you, you, you're supposed to, first of all, put the vegetable in enough water that has salt. That salt will help to kill the germs in the vegetable. And you, after that, you're meant to cut and not the other way around. You don't cut or wash and then before you start cooking. At that point, the nutrient is that. So the problem we have is people don't get the right nutrition. People, and if you're not having health issues, you're not meant to stay away from certain food. If you don't have health issues, probably you say you want to watch your weight and the rest. You're not meant to say, I want to watch my weight and I will not eat rice, I will not eat yam. It's fallacy. It's not, you are, you're already um, destroying the essence of food. We have a balanced diet. You need to balance your food. You need to balance your food. We have carbohydrates, we have protein. We have mineral salts, we have water. So when you, you don't take this meal, you stay away from them because they tell you when you eat them, you gain weight. At that point, somehow, you're tampering with your kidneys or your, your liver or whatever, you don't even know gradually because either you're overburdening them with enough carbohydrates or you're overburdening them with a lot of protein. You get mm -hmm. so you need to be you need to be balanced. You need to balance it. If you want to watch your weight, so now I'm giving everybody a lot of info <laughs> right now. So if you want to watch your weight, the best you can do is encourage. I will encourage you to take a lot of tea. I'm not talking about beverages like uh, Milo, Bonvita, and the rest of them. I'm talking about tea, green tea, strawberry tea, 
black tea, um, whatever tea you find in the shop, cappuccino, ready, standard rest, take them and um, try not to eat late in the uh, late hours of the night and try to take your breakfast. It's key if you're watching your weight. Always take your breakfast in the morning. Don't skip breakfast. It actually adds to your weight. And also do heavy food in the afternoon. And then at night, just do light food and then add your colored fruits. Colored fruits are very, very good. They have a lot of um, uh, minerals in them. They have a lot of vitamins in them, rather. So take a lot of, a lot of fruits that are colorful in the night. And doing so, you're getting the nutrition you want from your food but please don't skip your food don't tell somebody should not tell you that and um, because you you want to trim down you need to stop you need to curb carb you don't need to curb carb you need to eat carb you need them so you don't slump on the road hmm. the carbs are there for your energy it gives you energy so you need to take those carbs so you don't go and collapse and then they say he just died somebody killed you. nobody killed you you stayed away from carb you need the carb <laughs> okay so You've talked about some of the things that we're doing wrongly that we can change. You've also talked about some of the things we should eat, um, fruits, vegetables and all of that. Now, I remember back uh, a few years ago when COVID hit, um, one of the things that people always talked about is the fact that Nigerians are not falling ill as much because we eat organic foods, our soups have vegetables and all of those kind of things. We don't eat canned foods as much. Um, and because of that, lots of people tend not to eat vegetables, you know, fruits and things like that. Um, first of all, is that conception true? And also, what is your advice to people like that who have that kind of mentality? Okay, um, first of all, we are blessed with sun. Okay. Mm. And um, as you know, sun has vitamin D, which is actually very rich to the skin. So that is already playing a long, a good role. If you pay the attention during the summer, mm. you wouldn't have, you would hear less case of COVID in US and UK because there was sun at that point. So what the sun does is it suppresses. Just like if you have, if you have an infection, and you stay in a cold environment, it's going to make it uh, get worse. Yeah, but if you stay in a sunny environment, you tend to recover faster. So that's what happened in COVID-19. I'm not a doctor, so I can't actually hit more on that. Okay. But for the canned food and Nigerian living longer, we, yes, you're right. We don't eat canned food as much as um, every other um, country, although I've not been in those countries. But I know we don't really patronize um, canned food. But regardless, the, the subject is people should be eating it rightly. You can eat the vegetables and you're not eating vegetable. Mm. You can be taking water and also be taking thousand. So the kind of water you're taking is it really purified, so you don't get to take water and then you have left of minerals in your system, which are dangerous to your system. Are you eating the right food? So you can be eating these vegetables as you claim. As some persons want to make, um, they want to make fried rice and they they make their vegetables to be so. Fried, but it's meant to be stirred fried. It's mm. supposed to be stirred fried. You don't, you don't mm. need to fry it so deep. Just gradual fry and then you put your... So it's, it still have this crunchy feel. So when there's this crunchy feel in it, you know that you're getting it right. So you mm. know. So that's All right. It. So there's also a debate that's been going on about oil, palm oil. Um, you know, Nigerians, we like our oil. Whether we're making soup, we're making rice, stew, whatever it is, we'll pour it inside. Uh, what is your advice? How can we consume oil in a healthier way? Okay, um, palm oil has um, lots of cholesterol, no doubt. But as much as it has cholesterol, it still has vitamin that it's um, rich in. So I won't say um, people should stay away from palm oil. Mm. I say this and I will say it again. There, um, if you know you have a problem with eating, I don't think there's a problem with food. I will say it, I don't have a problem with food. I think the problem is you don't actually um, um, take things that will actually help your life. I mentioned you taking tea, it's very key. If you watch, if you ask most persons that will be sincere with you, how they maintain their body, they, they actually they actually take a lot of tea. So I, I'm saying this to you that is listening. 
go out there, go to good stores you can you trust, get tea. Take them every night before you sleep or in the morning. It rejuvenates and it also helps take away thousands from possible food you must have eaten. Mm. Because as much as we might be cooking and then feeling that we're eating it right, my, our food might be contaminated in between and we don't know. But these teas, they help to eradicate. So you have the green tea. It also helps to um, manage cancer. We have cauliflower. I have on my Twitter, I talked about cauliflower some days ago. I've have, had people have testimonies. I talked about, I tell people to take cauliflower. If you have issues with with your menstrual flow, it's not coming regularly, just get cauliflower and, and stir fry it and keep eating it. Over time, it's not only going to nourish your body. It was, it's to, if you have underlying waist pain and the rest, you see over time it starts going and your blood starts flowing. Um, so we have these foods, we have those vegetables that, the broccoli and the rest, we have a lot of them out there. So I wouldn't advise anybody to stay away from, but just excess of eating is bad. Like I said, you don't, you don't overeat carbohydrates and don't expect to get diabetes in the future. Mm -hmm. You don't overeat protein and don't expect to have issues in the future. So you need to balance it. You need mm -hmm. to balance it. So at least in a week, you should have routine of having protein at least twice a week. I'm talking about plant protein, cowpea, beans. Have your plant protein. Also, within the week, you should also make sure you incorporate um, food that, has, that is rich in mineral salts. The green plantain, make green plantain porridges. And you take crabs, take um, the periwinkles, they're all rich. Just try to balance them, take vegetables and take lots of water. So I will talk, we were talking about oil the last time. So we have, um, I should just list um, some oil that's actually very rich in the system. We have the palm oil, we have um, olive oil, we have sunflower oil, we have um, canola oil, we have refined palm oil. You see it, um, you, I think it's most common so far in Nigeria because the other ones are quite expensive. Olive oil is expensive, canola, uh, canola oil is expensive, sunflower oil is actually expensive too. But then, um, when we talk about the ones that are quite more richer, I will actually advise people to go for soya oil, go for olive oil if you can afford it, and sunflower oil. Therefore, palm oil, yes, I know so, so many persons use um, palm oil for a lot of things, but when people like to, people bleach oil. And I want to talk about the bleaching part of the oil. When you bleach oil, you already, you've already, first of all, You've tampered with the oil, that's one. So the oil doesn't have if any importance, that's one. Two, at that point, that oil is actually toxic to your system. Mm. Because you already bleached it, so it doesn't have any, any, um, any uh, nutrients in it. You've already killed the nutrients. And as well, you're actually disturbing. You're actually also having, um, causing some problems to your own system in between. So, um, when you want to use your oil, don't bleach them. That's okay. one, don't bleach them. Yeah, sometimes occasions would permit us to want to bleach this oil and all that, but it shouldn't be a habit. It shouldn't be your, like when you are at home, you should eat your food the way, um, you, um, the way that is best for your system. It's just like I was, tell, I was um, discussing with someone and I said, one of the things that prompts me to go into yogurt and cold cream is because I, I like when people have the feel of home. You eat something and you're sure that this is what I'm eating mm. and I'm not eating poison. So when don't tamper with your oil, don't bleach your oil and um, don't overuse palm oil. You should also, like I said, everything is about balance. I, I won't say you should not use palm oil but balance it, balance your palm oil intake. Don't always use palm oil. Same thing with your vegetable oil too. Some persons bleach vegetable oil and some persons even use vegetable oil they use in frying potato, frying yam to make their stew and other sauces. It's even yeah. dangerous too. So if you're using your vegetable oil, it should be pure, like from the can to your pot for your sauce and your your stew or whatever you want to use it for.
All right, so this is the point of the show where we get to check out our fact file. And today is something you actually already mentioned. Our fact file says that people who eat late at night uh, do tend to put on extra weight. Uh, one possible reason for late night eaters to add weight is because they eat or choose high cholesterol treats, right? Um, this is something you've already mentioned. I want you to give an advice for people who cannot stay away from these treats, you know, late at night, maybe you're seeing a movie, you have these cravings. What are alternative treats that people can eat that are healthier and would also help them in terms of weight? Okay. Um, I'll advise they stick to fruits and water. There are fruits that actually, when you take them, you feel filled. I know watermelon is one of it. Mm. When you take watermelon, you feel like you feel like you take enough watermelon. And then there are other fruits. I, uh, of course, they are not so accessible here in, this, in Nigeria. But then let me just focus on more watermelon. Take watermelon, take apple, and take water. Okay. It's also going to help you too. But I, I'll still say this. Always make sure before you go to bed, take tea. Okay. Very important. So, if uh, I know some persons, their nature of job make them eat late at night. You can't even take away that fact. So, okay. but the, it's best they go and uh, make sure they always take healthy tea. I'm not talking about slimming tea. I don't even advise people taking those stuff. Sorry, I, I hope I don't, I'm not spoiling people's business. The best you can do is either you go for or go on water therapy. What is that? Water therapy is um, when you rise up in the morning, you take water, you buy warm water, not cold water, okay. not even room temperature, warm water. All right, every morning? Every morning. Take what it. does that do? It helps to detox. Burn, it helps to detox and also burn fat. Oh, burn, okay. It burns fat very All much. right, I know some people put like a little bit of lime in there. Um, the thing is about lime, I wouldn't advise people to um, re uh, take lime. Oh, okay. Because it's actually a very acidic. Ah. It can actually still cause your hepatitis. So, mm. so stay away from highly to acidic fruits. All right. Mm. Just before we let you go, you know, there are a couple of people who want to live healthy. They want to eat healthy meals. Are there advice? You know, they struggle. Some people struggle to just stay on that path. Are there basic advice you can give to people like that? Okay, yes. I know here yeah, in Nigeria... Um, lately, it's not really easy assessing fruits and vegetables that are not that affordable. But there are vegetables that are still, um, you, you can still get. You have carrots, it's still affordable. Mm. We have green pepper, we have green beans. These are more affordable. We have cabbage, they're quite affordable, unlike bro um, broccoli okay. and um, cauliflower. It's uh, on the high side. Not so on the high side though, but okay. it's on the high side. So I would advise they incorporate that to their meal. You know, at least try, even if it's twice or twice in a week, try to eat fruits. It's very good for your heart, for your liver, for your kidney, and for your entire well-being. All right. Mm, Thank you so good. much for coming on the show and having this conversation so with much. us. I'm much. definitely going to try to incorporate more fruits and vegetables <laughs> in my meals, and same I'm sure here. you're going to do of the course, same. Of course. <laughs> we'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we still have the movie review and the games. You do not want to miss out on it. Don't go anywhere. This is Vibe Cafe. Welcome back to Vibe Cafe. It's movie time yep. and today we are reviewing a film called Seven which was directed and produced by Tosi Ego. Now yeah. this film is an action thriller. Mm -hmm. Basically follows the life of Coyote. Um, he was from a very wealthy family. His dad passes and he's forced to go to like the ghettoest part of Lagos, yeah. Ajegunle, to survive for seven days and all the chaos and confusion that comes with it. It's a very interesting exactly. film. Exactly. And for me, I think my favorite part had to be definitely is the ghetto part of the whole movie. I love the fact that it's quite relatable. Mm. I loved all the actions in that scene. It was it for me. Of course, I enjoyed other parts, but I love the originality in that 
scene. Very beautiful. The I cast was it. amazing. I think Effa did an amazing job acting or embodying that role. And the cinematography was good. The lighting yeah, in some lighting. parts were okay as well. And the story was really, really relatable yeah, and like, interesting. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this film a 6. <laughs> a 7. <laughs> All right, yeah. uh, you can totally go check it out for yourself and let us know if you love it just as much as we did or you're not feeling it at all on social media at Vibe Cafe Show. We'll go on another break. When we come back, we still have the game, so don't go anywhere. This is Vibe Cafe. Welcome back. It's game time. <laughs> we are about to play a game called Guess the Country. And I'm super excited. Are I you ready too. for it? I am. Let's okay, go. so we get to guess what country based on what we see on the screen. All right? We're good. Yep. Uh, Thailand, Brazil, USA. Brazil. Thailand. Thailand. Okay. Oh, sign up. Uh, okay, China. Mobile. China. Russia. Man, this looks like China, yo. USA. Mongolia. Oh. Thank you. Okay, China. Definitely China. Italy. No? Ah, it's not so beautiful. Where is it? Peru. <laughs> okay. Great Wall of China. Land. Yes. Okay. Okay. United. Arab, okay. I'm going with uh, United India. Arab. Let me go with India. Ah, United is it Malaysia? Arab. India? India? Yes! Oh, thank How? you. Okay, uh, this is Australia. 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 Yes! <laughs> okay, next one. See, <gasps> this one like Paris. Paris. France. Yes. France, 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 definitely. But you said it for so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, yes! it's fine. <laughs> ah, this um, one. Argentina. Let me go with Argentina. England. Argentina. England. No. Yes. Oh! How? <laughs> like I'm good. I'm just too good. I should be a travel vlogger. No. <laughs> How many countries are you been to? I'm uh, suspecting you, I, though. I've not been no bots. I used to follow them on Instagram. Okay. Back to back. I'll follow, I'll follow. And I'll go there I'll very start soon. Trailing them. All right. Yeah. All right. We had fun <laughs> playing this game. You can play this with your friends at home. Let us know how it goes at Vibe Cafe Show. This brings us to the end of the show. Yeah. Sadly, we'll come back next week so we do this all over again. <laughs> Join us. In the meantime, follow us on social media platform at Vibe Cafe Show. Follow me at Larry Nick and follow me at Fab Mali. Until next time, bye.